finally this morning, I want to get our week started by telling you some things that are really important to me. We call it Faye. What's on my mind? My mother always knew that she wanted to have children, right? And so children are on my mind. So my mom always knew that she wanted to have children. It's all about family, she used to say. And I could see in her eyes that the future that she was dreaming of with grandbabies looking like me, but something always gave me a feeling that that wouldn't be the case for her. That pressure loomed on me. Honestly, she couldn't wait for a grandbaby. She always said how she wanted to see a little fake A, you know, instead of fake what, right? With the big green eyes and the crazy hair. And this always made me feel like the pressure of beginning this new generation as the oldest child in our home. But it didn't happen. It is not difficult to imagine my mother's horror, right? When at the, at the young age of 15, I declared, mom, I'm never going to have children. As I leaned up against the countertop, my mom, cocinando arroz con gandule, as she usually did, right? Um, you know, probably with a little bit of meat. She said something about how beautiful my children would be in the future and blah, blah, blah. And before I knew it, I said, I don't want to have children. I don't want to have children, mom. My mother said my full name, okay, which is a warning, right? When she would say, Fe Tatiana Carmona Orozco, how dare you? And I remember it. I remember her body language toward me kind of changed and everything got kind of cold, you know? And you know when your mom says something like that, like if she says her your full entire name, you know what's coming, right? And then, so then she stopped for a second and looks at me and says, oh, you don't really mean that. Come on, you're too young, you know? And then the subject was immediately dropped. I watched my mom's eyes filled with happiness, right? As she met my younger siblings' children. They gave her the grandchildren that she wanted. And this other time, I went to my grandmother's funeral a few years back in New Jersey, right, my father's mother, and I saw many aunts that I hadn't seen in, like, forever. I saw a bunch of cousins and everything, right? I think my grandma had, like, 42 grandchildren. She's Puerto Rican, okay? We're very fertile. So anyway, I went to the funeral, and a few older aunts came up to me and asked about how my life was, and the question came up, how many children do you have? And I said, none. And instantly, one of the ladies said, Ay, pero que pasó? Que pesad? What happened? Can you not carry? Are you sick? Estás enferma? Mind you, again, Puerto Ricans are very fertile, right? I had to go back and say, no, senora, I don't want children. I am not sick. Nothing is wrong with me. Again, the mood totally changed at that moment. It was different and all because... I'm in my 40s and never had children. I could see her at the corner whispering to the other ladies, right? And here's the thing, this world is a hot mess and I never felt responsible enough to bring a child into this hot mess. I think children are wonderful and I think that they are the future. I love my friend's kids and they love me. I don't hate children. I maintain that the two truths are not mutually exclusive. Children are wonderful and children are important. So keep having them, but don't make me feel ashamed for not wanting to have any. You get it? And don't make anybody in your life feel ashamed for not having children either. Maybe they just don't want any. That's it. <laughs> so did you enjoy the show? I know you did. So make sure to click subscribe so you won't miss any of the events, news or interviews right here on the Faye What Show. Ring the bell at the bottom of the screen right there so you'll be alerted every time we're live. You can also click on the Happening Out Television Network logo so you can see all of the shows on the most diverse LGBTQ plus media network. Find out just what we're doing to bring the L and the G together right here on the Faye What Show. Get the week started with me.